Hello, Regent Cass... Cassipia? Sure, why not? You and I have a common enemy, the Serpent and his scaled court. If you will stay your hand and hear what I have to say, I can offer you a unique opportunity to see this enemy slain. Will you listen to my offer? Interesting. I'm listening. Despite my position in the scaled court, I've grown wary of the Serpent. I realize now that we don't have the same goals. I want to make the world better. The Serpent just wants to destroy it and start over. Will you help me stop the Scaled Court? Well, first of all, why would you come to me for help? I've seen you in action. You are my best hope for stopping the Manticoras. Unnatural beasts. Did you know the Court created them? The creation process starts in Fearfang's Cavern. There, we must destroy the Scorpion Matron and her nests. Uh, Stalker much? I'll go to Fear's... Uh, fear fangs and destroy the scorpion's nest. She's pretty and I really like that outfit. I'll accompany you to the scorpion matron's den and help you destroy the creature and its nests. Hopefully my disguise will hide my identity. I prefer not to kill any more of the scaled court than absolutely necessary. Okay. So what do the scorpions have to do with the ma uh, man manticorus? The court create the horrible beasts in special spawning pools. They use an alchemical process to combine the traits of various predators, including the Scorpion Matron and her brood. You're the leader of the Scaled Court? Why should I trust you? The Serpent lied to me. The Scaled Court is no longer working toward the changes that first attracted me to its ranks. And the more I learn of the Serpent's true plans, the more I feel betrayed. Makes sense. That really doesn't answer my question, though. You want specifics? Very well. Look at the state of our world. An endless war, threats from oblivion, an outdated order that fails us at every turn. The Serpent promised a change, but I can't support his increasingly destructive methods. So, why don't you sli uh, simply quit the organization? One does not simply quit the Scaled Court, especially not someone of my rank. Besides, the best way for me to stop the Serpent's plans is to continue to attack them from within. I can't openly oppose them and hope to succeed. For that, I need you. That reminds me of that Lord of the Rings meme. One simply does not insert meme quote here. Uh, but anyways, tell me more about the Ma Manticorus. The Manticoras are fearsome beasts, an alchemical melding of various predators. They are large, powerful, and exceptionally intelligent, and that <clears throat> makes them extremely dangerous. Why does the Serpent need a new creature? The Serpent ordered the Scaled Court to build an army. The Manticoras are the first recruits in his growing legion, but they are perverse creatures. Abominations against the natural order. I can't stand by and let this atrocity come to pass. Okay, starting to make sense a little bit. Uh, what other creatures are used to create the Manticores? Besides the Scorpions, the Cord Alchemists utilize the traits of numerous predators. There are two other primary contributors, especially Bred Wamasu, and one other I hesitate to mention. We'll talk more after we deal with the Scorpions. Okay, goodbye. The Wamasus are the gigantic uh, lizard things, right? Hold on, I'm going the wrong way completely. So how far are we going this time? Not far at all, actually. So, full disclosure. Um, this video is being recorded the day of patch 33, which has shared achievements. And I've been playing on my main on one of my alt characters. And I noticed that whenever I go to like a delve or something, like it shows right here that it hasn't been completed. But as soon as I go in there... It will show completed because I have done it on my main character. So, uh, I haven't played it on, I haven't, I don't play this character at all, uh, outside of playing it for YouTube, right? So this is simply just for YouTube. So whenever you see that stuff going forward, know that it's basically because shared achievements and patch 33. Good, good patch. I really like the patch, but again, and I even like shared achievements. I think it's a good addition to the game, except it. It kind of kind of made it a little weird that it auto completed even though I I haven't actually completed it here on this character 
Her disguise literally just consists of wearing a hoodie now. That's her disguise. Wow. Um. I don't know what to say. That's so stupid. Okay, that's like <laughs> Clark Kent status. Um, I'm gonna go around the right, go all the way around, just take out everybody and collect this while I'm at it. I definitely wanted to get this guy, but it's okay. Hiya! Sit your butt down. Also, full disclosure, the alt character that I've been working on blindly follow the serpent's orders his venomous lies have poisoned their minds it uh the character i've been working on is an imperial dk and i have full intentions of replacing this character with that one only because i enjoy playing with the dk so much man it's not even funny okay, we'll be ours. so if i'm gonna play this game on the channel. I love Templars. Templars is one of my favorite uh, classes as well, but I just love DKs, man. I love everything about DKs. Sit your little butt down, homie G. Uh oh. I do love this character though, that's all. All I'm gonna be doing is just getting a name change because I really do love this character a lot, actually. Whoa, that's a big a uh, big guy. Is that a boss? That wasn't very tough. I wasted my ultimate for nothing, really. It's okay, though. Not a huge deal. Why does it show like we haven't got it? I mean, I, we definitely did, but it shows like we didn't. Oh, that other character, by the way, too. He already has... Uh, maxed out... Uh, Riding speed and everything, but he hasn't done any questing uh, except what I've done to catch up with this character. So basically, it's just going to continue on with the same stuff that we've done. So nothing that I've done on that character is essentially different from this one. I kind of speed ran it though, if I'm being completely honest. So some decisions might be a little different, and hopefully, it doesn't come bite me in the butt later. But we'll see. We'll see. The Scorpion Matron's Den and with hybrids. The Scorpion Matron's Den should be nearby. Prepare yourself. The Matron and her brood will be deadly opponents. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. And with the whole hybridization stuff that they're doing with the game, it, it, it's perfect. That is a gigantic freaking scorpion. And I live in Arizona, so we see a ton of these little bad boys. What's up, buddy? Well, that was a waste of ultimate. I guess I should have paid attention. What does the air do? Stamina recovery, increases radius. Four is kind of not necessary. Stamina recovery, so three of stamina recovery, uh, recovery, and then when you roll dodge, well, there's two fives, so it kind of makes up for that four. So technically, it's three stamina recoveries, and then when you roll dodge, your weapon and spell damage is increased by 377. That could be that could be decent. Oh god. So that, that could be good, 
or at least decent for like a scam if you want to role play like I do by the way uh, definitely not meta I'm sure but uh, if you want to role play it's probably gonna be good for like a stam sork or something like that I'm probably gonna use it on my stam sork actually sounds sounds interesting to me did I I missed it didn't I well crap okay I'm running straight through excuse me coming through you don't see me Come on. oh well crap you don't see me. You don't see me at all. I am like the air. That was <laughs> easy. What are you talking about, Bastion? You didn't even fight anybody. You ran with me. You know, I guess I should have tried turning around and seeing if I can actually go back into that door, but I didn't. I guess I didn't think about it, but whatevs. It happens. <clears throat> Hurry up, Bastion. We got business to take care of. Yeah, that other ca uh, character the that's going to be replaced. Den should be nearby. Prepare yourself. The matron and her brood will be deadly opponents. I feel like killing that scorpion again. By the way. Meet me near Dragon Star after you deal with the Wamasu. Its den is close by. Okay. He's really not that tough. I can literally one bar him. On a hybrid build. Oh, wait. I love the whole hybridization stuff that they've been doing in this game, dude. I really, really do. It's putting more diversity into the game in terms of builds. These were specifically selected for their compatibility with the Manticoras. With the matron slain and her nests destroyed, this portion of the process can't be duplicated. I wouldn't have been able to do this without your help. Uh, I assume there's more to be done? Isn't there always? The next component in the creation of the Manticoras comes from a specially bred Wamasu. Find the Wamasu cave and kill the egg bearer. Then destroy its eggs. That will further hamper the process. I'll wait for you near Dragon Star. Fair enough. See you later. Wait, hold on. Where am I? Okay. So I do have to kill these guys. Guy, as in one. I thought it was going to be more than one, but I guess not. It's just one. After I kill the boss, I mean, that's kind of like, what's the point, right? Might as well just let me have a straight shot out of here, but whatever. It is what it is. I just killed the mama. How far is this? Lit literally right here. You don't see nothing. Excuse me, coming through. I'm gonna miss this character as a YouTube character though. This, it was a lot of fun. Nice. Oh, this guy's a boss. These guys are cake, dude. Underestimating uh, you kill the last mistake. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Sit your little butt down, homie G. You want some too? I guess I kind of needed to come over here. Oh, I got to burn the eggs, too. Got it. Was it just one nest? Was I supposed to come in here? I may have came in here a little prematurely. Oh, wait. I think I had to kill the Wamazoo first and then go to Dragon Star. I don't know, I'm kind of confused right now. I guess we'll find out here in a second. We're meeting here in the same spot. Yep, same spot. Hello! The serpent and his scaled court would destroy Dragonstar. Everything. These people mean nothing to him. 
and if they discover my betrayal, they will dispatch me without hesitation. But tell me, have you dealt with the Wamasu Eggbearer? I did, as a matter of fact. I took care of the Wamasu Eggbearer and, as a matter of fact, destroyed her eggs. Then it's time. <clears throat> now we can deal with the final component in the process and destroy the progenitor Manticora. My seneschal, Little Leaf, has assured me that we'll find them both in the Serpent's Nest. Are you ready to proceed? Little Leaf? Sounds pretty cool. Tell me a little bit more about Little Leaf. Little Leaf? Uh-huh. She is my companion. My confidant. We've been together since before the Serpent called us and the Scaled Court was formed. She would do anything I asked, as I would for her. But enough of this. We still have a task in front of us. Well, tell me about the progenitor Manticora. The Court Alchemists created the progenitor Manticora to breed true, without the need for further alchemical manipulation. Be warned, it's a fearsome creature. It won't surrender willingly to spell or blade. Okay. And what's the final component in the alchemical process? Haven't you guessed? Nope. The court uses the most deadly predators to create the Manticoras. And there are few predators more dangerous than men and myrrh. Now, let's rescue the prisoners and remove this corrupt creation from the face of Nern. I mean, now that makes sense. I guess I could have put it all together, but... Since I'm in conversation, it's kind of... Let's ride. Hard to think on the side, right? Or think about multiple different things at the same time. Some people could do it. I'm not very... I'm not that good at multitasking. I'm good at doing a lot of things in one time frame. But uh, I'm, I'm generally very focused on individual projects at a time. And then... Uh, yeah. How do I get over there? Is it... Is it here? It is. Oh, hello. Don't worry, your savior has come. That, that'll be me. Victory. Oh, is this... This is the serpent's nest, right? It is. This is where I come to grind Miri's... Uh, I can't resist a passageway that leads to the unknown. Uh, rapport. This is where I come to grind her because she loves killing snakes. This is an easy thing. It's literally just a big circle with like some cultists and some snakes. I've been here so many times. It's insane. What do you want from me? Dunzo. There should be some little guys on the floor. Or on the bottom right here. Got him. Yeah, because Miri loves it when you kill snakes. I really need to remember to put down those buffs before I get into combat. It, it probably won't happen. I'm gonna literally continue to forget. There should be another one right here. Yep, there he is. Come and take us! Thank you, kind citizen, Mr. Little Miss Saigon. Sit down. Thank you, thank you. And then there should be a boss fight right here, which we will do for the sake of this video. It's three, three giant lamias. But we're gonna have to wait. Unfortunately, we won't be getting help by that sorcerer. Goodbye, Mr. Sork. It's okay, I understand. I guess in the meantime, I'll, I'll do this. And that. Uh, try crown. Um, 
I need to come up with a build for my DK though. Right now I'm kind of playing him as a stamina because he's an Imperial DK. I'm playing him as a stam DK. Uh, but I'm doing a dungeon series which the first video will be out very soon so stay tuned for that. Um, where I go into dungeons like I dungeon delve and get the stories off of dungeons. Uh, so I have a tank build. I'm tanking those dungeons, right? So, uh, so I've been playing as a as a tank and as a stam DK. But at the same time, I also want to build a magic DK or a mag DK just be just because it will it obviously won't be amazing since it's not a magic you know race magic based race. But race is kind of it, it's not too important. It's important especially when you're newer at the game, but. It doesn't really bother me that much. I'm not that good. I don't want to seem like I'm good, but at the same time, you know, I, I do have a little bit of experience. More experience than a brand new guy, so. <clears throat> I like to think I'm better than a little, than your average person, you know? Than your average casual, I should say, because I'm not a casual. I do play this all the time. Come on. Man, this boss really does not want to come up, does it? We would have been done with this place already. We're like halfway with the story too. We probably will be finishing up this series with this video, maybe. Worst case scenario, we'll probably cut it in half and make it into two, but... We'll see. Dunzo. Trap Beast can finally be morphed. That took a long time. Let me grab this first. Before it disappears on me. I've had that happen before. I have that anyways. Alright. So, Trap Beast it said, right? So that's Fighter's Guild. I want Barbed Trap. Although Lightweight is pretty useful. Or can be useful. Do I have everything morphed? Morphed. Morphed. Morphed now. Morphed. Morphed. Morphed, okay. Took a long time, but everything's officially morphed. I, I need... Probably after we get out of here, we're probably going to invest some of our points into some passives that I don't have. The ending is literally right around the corner anyways. We're just going to be turning left here. And that's the last little strip of... Snakes. Let's go ahead and take out all of these guys real quick. Hello. Come down here. Or not. It is what it is. It's not important. Let's go. Hit him. Dunzo, give me my Sky Shard, baby. Wait, hold on. Did I miss something? Oh my god. I did. I did miss something. It was the door. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here really quick. Um, class. They're all done, it looks like? No. Resurrected allies. Okay, that's more for like healer stuff, which makes sense, obviously. So, weapon, let's go into destruction. Don't see nothing. I can't believe I could have been so much stronger Slay doing so much more damage. And its handlers, then check on the prisoners. If any remain alive, release them. Yes, ma'am. This room looks really cool. Hello. They were going to 
processing and disgusting pool with that horrible beast. Thank you for rescuing us. Anytime. By any time, I hope never again. That would be pretty weird, and I would probably question this one. You. He's very happy not to be dead right now. I'm very glad you didn't get dead either. Oh my god, that thing looks amazing. I want to kill him so bad. Let's, let's save these people first, though. What does she have to say? By the three. What's a he? I thought I was done for. By the three? Who are the, who are the Dark Elves? Uh, Adra. That's the last time I accept an invitation from a mysterious robed figure. Thanks for setting us free. Mysterious robed figure. Kind of reminds me of Oblivion when you meet the Dark Brotherhood for the first time. <laughs> that was cool. Easy, but cool. Present yourself, Regent Boward. The Manticora project is at an end. Regent Cassipia? What is the meaning of this? I'm, I'm kind of confused right now. Abandon the serpent? I would never do that. Oh, there Present she is. Present yourself, Regent Boward. The Manticora project is at an end. Regent Cassipia? What is the meaning of this? Watch your tone, Regent. Your abomination is dead. Will you abandon the serpent and join me? Abandon the serpent? I would never do that. Very well, Boward. Join your abomination in oblivion. Boward gave me no choice. My actions must remain secret. Come talk to me after you free the prisoners. I already did, first of all. Second of all, where was he gonna run? There's nothing over there. Oh, there's a... Portal to Craglord. Uh, you guys can go ahead and read this. Just go ahead and push pause if that's something you guys want to do. I find that a lot of the times the stuff that you read is actually discussed in dialogue anyways. If you just explore dialogue, so there's that. Hello, Regent Cass. You. None of these deaths would have been necessary if the serpent hadn't lied to me. Uh, the, progener the progenerator... The progenitor, I can't talk right now, Manticora is dead and the prisoners are free. Thank you for helping me in this matter. Now, I need to make sure these spawning pools can't be used again. And I should collect a few of the Manticora remains. I need to study them so I can continue to oppose the Serpent's horrid plans. Your help in this task was invaluable. Would you, you. be willing to help me deal another defeat to the Serpent's schemes? Uh, sure. Uh, what else do you want me to do? Many regents serve the Scaled Court. That's why things occur within its coils that aren't under my control. For example, the Iron Orcs are raising an army. I sent my Seneschal, Little Leaf, to stop their efforts. Perhaps you could lend her a hand. Where can I find Little Leaf? Little Leaf should be somewhere along the road, just beyond the Northeast Passage. Let her know I sent you, and she'll trust you implicitly. She has a very trusting soul. Alright, I'll go find Little Leaf. Her companion. Eh, not something I needed, but okay. So she said that she's right down the road. Let's go ahead and go. How far down the road? Oh my god, that's down the road? She has a weird sense of what down the road means. This is halfway to Jupiter. Or North Carolina, I don't know, one or the other. Whichever's farther, I guess. Let me see. Oh, we've made progress. We're already a little bit over halfway there, so. We are golden. We should be getting there. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty much there. Yeah, this is this was far for down the road. 
It's literally the opposite side of the, uh, of the zone. Auto zone. Bam. All right. Valley of Scars Way Shrine. Hey, little leaf. Oh, she's a boss Let's not start something we'll both regret. I could use some help, and you're going to want to hear what I have to say. I do want to hear what you have to say. I love Bosmers, dude. Wood Elves are amazing. But anyways, uh, Regent Caspia sent me uh, to help you with your Iron uh, Orc problem. Cassie sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm so just, lucky that the Regent looks out for me. I just did. All right. We've got a lot of work to do. Have you ever tried to change an Iron Orc's mind? No. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. We need to stop the Iron Orcs. They're building an army of trolls. Regent Cassipia sent me to convince them to disband the army. But they took my gold and tossed me out. Now that you're here, I have a better plan. Uh, what's your better plan? You're my better <coughs> plan. Aww. Between my cheerful optimism and your proclivity for violence, there's no way we can lose. Anyway, you'll help, right? Meet me in the ruined tower on the nearby hill. Why does everyone automatically assume I'm a violent person? I'm expert. I'm an expert in violence, but only when I need to be. It's not like I go out seeking for violence. Did we just do the Dark Brotherhood in the last series? Uh, no comment. Uh, all right. I'll meet you at the ruined tower. The Iron Orcs have figured out a way to turn a trollop of trolls into an army. It involves training, armor, and magical runes carved right into their skin. I'll meet you in Ilfog's Undertower, and we can deal with the troll trainer first. Uh, what should I know about Il that place, t Undertower? Well, it's inside the ruins beneath the old tower. It stinks down there. That's what happens when you shove trolls and iron orcs into an enclosed space. That makes anyway, sense. Ilfog uses the ruins as a training arena for the trolls. Uh, you, and, you know, I'll ask that afterwards. Why are the iron orcs building an army of trolls? Because the serpent told them to. <laughs> but nothing good ever came from dressing trolls in armor and giving them weapons. And that's the acorn's truth. Anyway, stopping the trolls is all part of Cassie's plan to save the Scaled Court. But the Scaled Court is evil. Some of them, maybe. But not Cassie and me. We joined the Scaled Court to change the world, not destroy it. We're going to fix all this. Honestly, I don't know what Exarch Bardoth was thinking. Cassie and I. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, who's this? Bardoth's the chief of the Iron Orcs. Kind of hard-headed and a tough old tree. When the Orcs joined the Scaled Court, Bradoth was given the title of Ophidian Exarch of Undulating Destruction. It's a mouthful, I know, but I love our titles. I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, can they really train trolls? Ilthar can train anything, but the real secret is the Red Brittle. I mean, the Nern Crux. It makes the trolls more powerful somehow. If you don't help me stop them, all of Craglorn is doomed. And Regent Cassipia doesn't want to see that happen. Nern Crux sounds super cool. Uh, you and Regent Caspia seem pretty close. <laughs> just what are you implying? Oh, I'm just rustling your leaves. Oh. <laughs> Cassie and I are the very best of friends. I was about to say, you took that completely the wrong way, girl. But now she's just joking. I like her now. I like her a lot, actually. She, She's a jokester. I can respect that. Actually, I love that, actually. I love people who can take jokes, you know? It's kind of surprising how many people can't take a joke anymore. Jokes by the very nature are going to offend some people. If everybody gets offended for the people that are offended, then that just creates a world full of people who are offended, and that's just boring. Because that just kind of kills comedy. So, I'm a big advocate of jokes. So I guess we gotta jump down? I guess so. Oh, I could I could climb up anyways. For Narnia! <laughs> for the for the what method? Where is she? Are there chickens here? There is. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm in Mexico. I can say that my family's from Mexico. My entire family's from Mexico. I consider myself American, but I'm first generation American. My entire family's from Mexico, so love and respect my people. The Mexicans love their chickens. Oh, I didn't 
There she is. Away with you. Oh well, I tried. The better plan it is. The day is ours. <laughs> I like her a lot, dude. She's like, stop doing it. No. Oh, I tried. Let's go. For Narnia! I am not oh. afraid of you. Hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, this is a boss. A dead one. Come fight me, fuck. Nice try there, buddy. Nothing like a little heavy attacking. Wouldn't fix. Do you like the loot? I play a little. Cassie says I'm good, but I think she's just being nice. She's so adorable. She reminds me of uh, Evely. I have a, I have a fondness for Bosmers, man. I like Bosmers, they're, they're super cool people. Shortest of the elves. Am I going the right way? I guess we'll find out shortly. Can't rely on magic. Change your strategy. Shut up, Bastion, don't tell me how to live my life. I don't change my strategy, the strategy changes me. Oh, come on, attack. Aha! Dunzo. Kamehameha! I really like that, those sweeps, man. It's like a conal AoE 2 in front of you. So it really, it, it, it hurts multiple people at once. Not only that, but it also uh, heals you. Like, that mixed with, like, uh, the Ring of the Pale Order is absolutely insane. There we go. Took me long enough. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, maybe I'll, I'll 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 do this. I might have done it too early though, or late. Ah! <laughs> he skipped the hell out of me. Shut up, Bastion. I didn't need to do that, but I did it anyways. That was scary. Not gonna lie. Talk to Little Leaf. The most adorable, the second most adorable Bosmer out there. I wish there had been another way. Poor stubborn Ilfog. They should have taken the gold. Uh, I'm not sure killing the trainer is going to put an end to the troll army, however. Good point. What was I thinking? We're going to have to do a lot more to disband the troll army. I guess I need to go talk to Rune Scribe Akulth, Armorer Uthic, and maybe even Exarch Braduff. Uh, you might be, uh, on a first name basis with the, uh, with the Lorik leaders, but diplomacy, diplomacy isn't going to work. I cannot talk right now. You're right. I know you're <coughs> right. That doesn't make it any easier. Still, I have a mission, and if violence is the only way to complete it, then violence it is. So where do we have to go? The Valley of Scars. And yes, the place is as delightful as it sounds. It's north of here. You can't miss it. I'll meet you there. Uh... I think I should hear about, uh, this. Exarch Braddoth is the Iron Orc <clears throat> Chief. But he's also a ranking member of the Scale Cult. That's why he has the great honorific, the Ophidian Exarch of Undulating Destruction. Whew, wish I had a title <clears throat> like that. I'm sure he's in the valley somewhere. God, I hate that name so much. Oh, uh, sure. 
The only thing I understand is destruction. Uh, what can you tell me about the armor? Armor at Uthic crafts the armor worn by the trolls and the Wellwas. It's not ordinary armor either. Uthic adds Nun Crustus to make her armor tougher and more powerful. Her forge is on the east side of the valley. Okay, well, before we go, tell me about one more person the Runescrape Scaber. Runescraper Colt is a true artist. His intricate designs are so beautiful and powerful too. He adds Nern Crux dust to his ink and carves the runes right into a troll's flesh. Says it boosts the magic. He works on the west side of the valley. Okay, so it sounds like we have to go all across Craglorn. Or maybe not. Maybe we just have to go there. I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. There, you guys didn't see anything. Just like that, it's like magic. Okay, so we're definitely just going in this direction. This is gonna be easier. You know, investing those points into uh, the skills that I've been using Probably would have helped with uh, sustain. All my sustain problems probably would have been fixed a lot earlier. But sure. whatever. Let's go take care of that rune scribe and the armorer. You're nice. I know. I'm a real popular joke of character. <laughs> She's so dumb. As a compliment, of course. Um. Go oh, away. Where am I supposed to go? Uh. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a gigantic gate right here. I didn't even see it. Let's try to avoid combat. If we can. You don't see me. We should be here. Oh, that's it. Hope it's got to be it. Wood elves. Well, that's what I heard. We have to stop him from inscribing trolls with Nurncrux. All right. We're going to have to kill this guy. You got that, Bastion. Good job. That's him. Aha! Hit him! He was a lot easier than I expected. Okay, so the next one seems to be right there. Is it this this guy over here? Yeah, it is. Now I gotta figure out how to get there, though. The way the Indrix pop up is amazing. I love the Indrik mounts, man. They're really cool. Hiya! Made it like a glove. How do you do it? Is it up? All this running around and fighting. I'm exhausted. This known for some is tricky stuff. You can't see armor. The iron ops won't be able to dress up their troll army. Okay. I was listening to her real quick. Done so. Well, that's done. There's just one more thing to take care of. Exarch Brother. His throne room is deep inside the mountain, behind the ostentatious door to the north. Sounds easy. It's a delve too, so we're gonna have to kill another boss. We don't have to because again, it's already been auto accomplished with shared achievements. But I'm gonna do it anyways for the sake of the video. Exarch Stronghold. Delve. Ooh, this sounds dark. Looks dark. Okay, let's take a look at the map real quick to see the structure. This is literally straight and then turn it around.
I kind of remember this place. I haven't done it in forever. Can I even come in here? I think I can. Oh, I'm about to say, can't I? Hey, you! You will not survive today's fight. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. Not right now, at least. So many doors I gotta get through. Did I? I think that's downstairs. Oh! Who's trying to attack? I really wish there was like a wand. So that we can have a wand on one hand. And a uh staff on the other. Done and done. We see the map. Looks like I gotta go upstairs, but I, I do want to go get that that other thing first. Wait, I missed it. Was she a Templar? I'm about to say, two Templars, maybe. Oh, well, it says below. How do I get there? Found it. It was hidden. They tried to hide it from me. It's rude. Who's talking? Yeah, she's a Templar. Let's go help her. Our fellow Templar. <clears throat> I guess... I guess that's it. There's nothing else here. I probably would have had to come back here at some point in this quest anyways. But whatever, I got it. And, uh... Yeah. Can I go in here? Nope. I gotta go around. Thank you for the 28 gold. Much appreciated. Let's go. Okay. Enter the throne room. Okay. I'm down to that. What? How did he see me from way over there? Nice try. Oh, this is a boss. This is a boss fight. Every villain is the hero of their own story. <laughs> That's fair, Bastion. That gigantic troll was a boss. Very nice. God, these guys are so easy, aren't they? That's not what I wanted. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and read this if you guys would like. Just go ahead and push pause on the video and you guys will be able to wa uh, read this. I don't like reading it because it takes forever and I can't read to save my life. So like I said, you guys can go ahead and push pause if you guys would like to read that. I like to read it during post. <laughs> Good job, Bastion. Go ahead and tag everyone. There we go. Too easy. Oh, we have to go upstairs. Oh, it's that same Templar lady.
Perfecto. Ooh. Definitely did not have to do that. Do you think that might have been excessive? Let's bring him in here. <laughs> to Cassie. I'll meet you at the Valley of Scars. The Valley of Scars. That sounds uh insane. But let me see where it's at. Where's the Valley of Scars? L literally not telling me. Too easy. Excuse me. Oh crap, it was it was still up there. For some reason I thought it was downstairs, but nope. Look how well that blends in. May I exit the premises, please? Wait, there's a There's a boss over here. It looks like. She beat him already? Wait, is this the same room I was just in? It is, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Somebody help me. I guess we'll explore this room for now. Destruction staff to level 31, baby. Yeah, there's nothing here. I think this is where we fought that dude, right? Or did we even make it this far? Because I thought he was up here. I'm leaving. I'm pretty sure we did this. I'm pretty sure that's where we fought him. And if it's not, I apologize. Oh, come on. I pushed E. EA Sports. <laughs> She's literally... She says she likes playing the loot. Fusing the armor and the runes into a powerful hole. I wonder what would happen if one of the mortal races was subjected to the process. I don't think I want to find out, to be honest. Uh, that won't happen. Ba blah, 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 is dead and the process has been disrupted. Right. Of course. Cassie asked me to bring some of the altered Nurncrux to her so she can study it. I'll stay here and collect what I need. But thanks. I couldn't have completed my mission without you. She's super sweet, and of course I'm over encumbered. So that's how he did it. Right. There we go. Let's see what we get out of this. A bunch of crap. Pause a moment, champion. I bring word from the great warrior. The great warrior, you say? The great warrior, Titus, <coughs> seeks your counsel. It's an imperial. Uh, the great warrior Titus seeks your counsel. Titus, where should I meet him? I like him. The great warrior paces about outside the observatory in Belka. Like a caged tiger he is. He urged me to find you and ask you to hurry. I fear something dreadful is about to take place. Okay, I'll find Titus Belkarth in Belkarth. Uh, we're definitely nearing the end. We're on the seventh mission, I think. <coughs> Seven. Yeah, I think. I think this is the final mission before the ceremonial stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out shortly, I suppose. Excuse me, come through. 
How far is Belkarth? We're definitely fast traveling. Let's yeah. not aggro these guys. Because then we won't be able to fast travel until we kill them. Crap. Okay, good. Belkarth. Oh, give me the way shrine. There we go. Ooh, this guy looks pretty cool. Right behind you, partner. Yes, Bastion, I know you're right behind me. You're always right behind me. Because you're not a leader. And that's okay. Not everyone's fit to be a leader. What's up, Titus? Long time no see. Ah, I see my message reached you. Have you encountered Kelman in your travels by any chance? The thief reported a magical disturbance around Skyreach. Kelman went in search of an old Mage's Guild associate working in the area. He has yet to return. Uh, no, I haven't seen Kelman since the events in Laura Craglorn. Divines. If Kelman and this mage of his are deep in their cups in Dragonstar... Well, it can't be helped. And I can't wait any longer. The thief prepares a ritual to locate the source of the disturbance. But we need another participant. Uh, I suppose I can help with that. And once again, you offer aid before I need to ask. Thank you. Meet me at the Howling Sepulchres to the north. The ancient needs will regard us as intruders, so be wary. Perhaps we'll even run into Kelman along the way. Alright, I'll meet you at the Howling Sepulchres then. The thief needs to perform the ritual at a site within the Howling Sepulchres. Go north and follow the path into the hills to the cave we seek. Just stay alert. Undead needs patrol the place, and they have no regard for visitors, living or dead. Uh, who did Kelman go meet again? When the thief mentioned the <sighs> disturbance emanating from the ruins of Skyreach, it seemed to spark a memory in Kelman. He claimed that a colleague from his days in the Mages Guild was working in the area. Did Kelvin mention a name? No. He was rather vague, come to think of it. I got the impression that it was someone he was close to in the past. But more than that, I cannot say. He grabbed his pack, said he'd return shortly, and headed out to find his mysterious friend. Uh, could this friend be involved in the magical disturbances somehow? Knowing Kelman's history, I suppose that's a distinct possibility. I just hope he hasn't gone and gotten himself into some kind of trouble again. Well, there's nothing to be done about it now. Let's go meet the thief and see what she can learn. Well, tell me about the magical disturbances the thief de detected. <clears throat> I don't understand all the intricacies of magic, but she seemed genuinely concerned. It had something to do with ethereal energy. I remember her mentioning that quite often. But other than that, I just know that the disturbance is bad. Uh, does that have anything to do with the serpent? Doesn't every ill wind blowing through Craglorn originate in the serpent's deceitful maw? I got the impression that the thief suspected the scaled court's involvement, but she never really gave us specifics. Uh, I got, uh... So you have no idea what kind of disturbances we might be dealing with. Of course I do. It's a bad, magical disturbance. Why are you asking me all these foolish questions? Let's just get to the Howling Sepulchre, and then you can pester the thief with your need to know the whys and wherefores of it all. Damn, calm down, bro. Ask a simple question. So I'll ask another. What have you been doing since last time we met? You mean, besides helping the thief deal with scaled court cultists and iron orc ruffians? Yes. Not much. I've been keeping company with Kelman, learning what I can about this age. And when I can, I try to find a way to return to my own time. You want to return to your own time? Wouldn't you? I miss the familiar sights and sounds. The people I know and love. The places that hold meaning to me. This time is not mine. That's fair. But you don't want to hear an old soldier complain. We have work to do. I mean, I don't mind. Everybody needs to vent at some point in their life, you know? 
So where is this? Oh, we gotta go way up there. Luckily, we don't have to go very far. This is gonna hurt, but I'm gonna do it anyways. For Narn, holy crap. Oh, dude, my gut really hurt on that one. I'm scared to hide, so that one really made my stomach churn a little. Okay, so we can just go here and just run straight north. And it's probably the fastest thing we could have done. North, right, right there. Um, how do I get up there? Can I, can I go around? Huh. I think I have to go. I should have went to this one. Oh well, I guess I didn't think about it all the way through. It's still faster than having to run from down here up here anyways. So I guess it's not all bad, but still. It would have been faster had I just gone to that other way shrine nearby. Yeah, this is definitely the way. Enter the Howling Sepulchers. Sepulchers seriously reminds me of uh, Skyrim with the Twilight Sepulcher. Skyrim vets know what I'm talking about. I played so many hours of that game, it's insane. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of Skyrim too. Not anymore. That picture did though. Door around the corner to the left. That should take us to the Sanctum of Farsight. Let's go. Let's let's go do this boss first. You don't see me. Okay, he's gonna make me fight. You guys asked for it. I don't feel bad. So yeah, it's gonna make us go all the way around. Done so. <laughs> oh, get out of here, harpy ladies. Before I get my dark magician on you. I'm not I'm not done fighting her yet. Give me a second. That dude looks cool. Whoops. Holding a blade like it's nothing. We got a boss here. Every villain is the hero of their own story. I have no idea what that sound was. It sounded disgusting though. That wasn't even the boss that I was looking for. See, I kind of wish it hadn't updated uh, in terms of if we fought them or not. Aha! I'm pretty sure I just blasted them into oblivion. Give me double the defense. Alright, I guess they don't want to fight anymore. So there is a boss up ahead somewhere. Oh, you're gonna be first, Dragonite. You're gonna be first since you wanted to chain me. I don't appreciate that. We're on a roll here. The boss should be around here somewhere.
It says it's outside. None of these are bosses, though. Maybe we do have to go inside? Watch the main... Watch the main story for this zone actually lead us here. Oh, there he is. These bosses are seriously easy, dude. Martial knowledge. Definitely don't need that. But I appreciate your time. So the, uh... The thing should be around here somewhere. Oh, that was weird. Okay, let me see. Didn't we come through here? Hmm. No, but we're practically already up, done with this place. So we gotta go down this way. And then this way, okay. And it's right there. I like how they added the wind effects, like sound effects. It actually sounds like what you would hear in real life. The howling self sepulchers. Follow the river to the right. It flows directly past the entrance to the sanctum. Okay. Is there an alternate? Can we go? Can we go left? Okay, let me see. This is 100% curiosity. I think this just goes into full circle. I think it takes me back to the other way. It does, I think. So let's just go the direction they want me to go. I suppose in this specific situation, it probably makes sense. Dunzo! <laughs> Dead. None of these guys stand a chance. Can I go in here? <laughs> There's nothing in here, but that's cool that I could anyways. Sanctum of... Sounded, it looks like Hold flashlight. Hold lady. Let me assist you. Light the fires on the six pedestals. The flames will not burn long, so be quick. Good to know. Come on. He's the slowest fire starter ever. But then again, we're not arsonists, so. Well done. With the foresight ritual complete, I can now locate the source of the magical disturbance. Kelman, can you still do that trick with the dead bugs? That was my favorite. <laughs> Dear Kelman is here to stop us, Little Leaf, not to perform tricks for your amusement. He fears the power I'll wield as the exalted viper. This is madness, Cassipia. What are you thinking? No mortal can contain the power of a constellation. You never had any ambition, Kelman. No vision. When I become the Serpent's equal, with the power of a celestial at my command, I can make this world a better place. By destroying Belkarth? How does that make the world a better place? Little Leaf, surely you don't support Cassipia's mad dream. That's enough, you old drunk. Belkarth represents what's wrong with the current age. Once I destroy it, I can finally begin creating a new and better world. No, Cassipia. I won't let you do this. Not Cassipia, dear Kelman. I am the exalted viper. Kelman! No! She was bad the whole time. Oh my god, I did not see that coming. The thief. 
The scaled court's venomous leader killed poor Kelman without remorse or hesitation. But the ritual worked. I know where to find her. Lothna Caverns. Yeah, I already met Cassipia and Little Leaf. Indeed? And they still live. Why didn't you destroy them when you had the chance? They needed help. They said they deposed the serpent and the scaled court. Oppose the serpent? This Cassipia wants to replace the serpent. But what's past is past. Did you notice anything? Did Cassipia collect any unusual components? Uh, actually, she collected something from the Manticoras and the Armored Trolls and some of the Nerncrux. The Nerncrux? <clears throat> That's not good. Here, this Cassipia may have discovered a secret I thought lost with the ancient needs. The threat she presents is greater than I anticipated. We must hurry to Lothna Caverns. <sighs> is Kelman really dead? He tried to stop Regent Cassipia on his own. She was too powerful for him. I just hope poor Kelman is finally at peace. Why did Kalman go after Cassipia by himself? I can only speculate. It's obvious they knew each other from Kelman's time in the Mage's Guild. I think he recognized her hand in this and went to convince her to stop her mad plans. Unfortunately, she refused to be swayed. I'm not sure I understand what we just watched happen. This Regent Cassipia, the leader of the Scaled Court, she plans to somehow gain the powers of a Celestial, to make herself the Serpent's equal. She has much to answer for, not the least of which is the murder of Kelman Locke. This is obviously a yes. I don't know why it ends with a question mark, but gaining the powers of a Celestial is bad? For one such as Regent Cassipia, yes, very bad. By her own admission, Cassipia plans to remake the world. We cannot allow that to happen. Can Cassipia really become the Serpent's equal? Stranger things have happened in the past. As one of the Celestial Guardians, it is my job to oppose the Serpent and his followers. This Cassipia appears to be the worst of them. We must go to Lothna Caverns and stop her. Okay, we'll do. Let me see what he says. I can't join you for this. One of us needs to return to Belkarth and prepare the city's defenses. You and the thief. Avenge Kelman and stop this mad viper for all our sakes. That makes 100% sense why he's not coming with us. Wait, where are we going? Where is this... Oh, it's right there. Uh, yeah, we don't really have much of a choice but to run there. So we're going left. Get out of my way. I don't want to fight right now. I got business to take care of. Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. Okay. God, these guys are annoying. That was a good ultimate there, Bastion. Where'd you come from? Bastion's got this. I'm just going to do heavy attacks for now. I don't want to run backwards or in that direction, so whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I must vacate. I should have just fast traveled to the nearest way shrine. That would have still been faster. But I think, I guess, I guess I didn't really think about it. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, very much did. Luckily, we had survived that endeavor.
We gotta go somewhat far though. Not really that bad, but especially because the horse is still or the mount is still pretty fast. Excuse me, excuse me. You guys don't see nothing. Man, we're practically already there. Um. That's not it. That's a world yeah. boss. Don't worry about me, I'm leaving. You don't see nothing, trolls. I wonder if those are the same trolls that you find on the internet. Probably. Discover defunct Nurkrux mine. You see nothing. No gold little man running around. You. All a figment of your imagination. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see how far we gotta go. I only see one boss. You leave Bastion alone. Get out of here. Good job, Bastion. Always coming in clutch. If I can avoid combat, I will. Wait a minute. Can I actually grab it from? Wow, that was. That was fast. Can I continue going up? It doesn't appear like I could. I think they they put it there to make it look like I can't go up there, so I don't try. I think I need to go up here like this. So let's go around. Hopefully that's the case. Nope. We have been discovered, Bastion. Too bad it wasn't good enough. Can I get up? Okay, screw it. Dunzo. Oh. I can't believe that worked. We avoided them. What's this? Activate the triggers to summon the bridge. Click on it. Hey, that is an awesome bridge. Is this Valhalla? No, it's just Skyreach Temple. <laughs> Defeat the Exalted Viper. That sounds pretty cool. Regent Cassipia, <gasps> you leaf. must not continue upon this dangerous path. No, you don't understand. Leave us alone and everything will be fine. Oh my god, dude, I like Little Leaf. We're gonna have to kill her. Sorry, Little Leaf. Oh god. 
Is she gonna resurrect him? I can't get up. Come back to me, little Lee. Wow, she is powerful. Are you hurt? Little Leaf's gonna die again. No. no! I am the exalted viper! I <laughs> only salt to make things better. But do it the wrong way. I can't loot her. There we go. Man, that was that was sad. Little Leaf in particular, I really liked. Oh well. Things happen for a reason, I guess. Regent Cassipia reached for powers that were not hers to acquire. Well, we stopped Regent Cassipia from becoming the Exalted Viper. And so we did. Cassipia and Little Leaf's deaths were regrettable, but they were a necessary evil in our efforts to save Craglord. <laughs> you have provided another great service to the Guardian Celestial. For that, you have my gratitude. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Region and so. Okay. Apparently, we have one more quest to go. Let's see what item we get from this. Some pants that I did crap. Let me see. Where is it? Find it eventually. There it is. Goodbye. Thank you. <clears throat> so where's this final quest? Cause we have one more. The time lost warrior. Connected through my apex stone, so only you can see me. I must ask you to set something right before it's too late. Okay. Mortal, the Celestial Guardian has one more obligation for you to fulfill. Uh, of course, what do you need me to do? My champion, Titus, who I called across the sands of time in my moment of need, is fading. His mortal mind can't deal with the shift in his reality. The longer he remains here, the more likely he will lose all that he is. I really hope we don't have to kill him. Can't you just send him back to his own time? If only it were that simple. As Titus loses parts of himself, his connection to me is severed. I can no longer reach him with my blessing. Titus has done everything I asked of him. It is time to send him home. <coughs> will you help him remember who he is? Yes, I'll help Titus for sure. I like Titus. I knew I could count on him. I last saw Titus in the north, searching for his wife's grave. As his mind slips away, he fights to hold on to it. It pains him to accept that all he knew is dead and gone. Yet he strives to keep the memories alive. So why did you bring Titus to this time period? The serpent's corruption was insidious. By the time I realized what was happening to my apex stone, I was too weak to fight back. But I was able to call my champion to me. Titus is valiant, and he knows this region well. I knew he would be an asset. The other summoned soldiers, such as that person, uh, were controlled by the Serpent. Why wasn't Titus? The Serpent forced me to summon Tarish Z and his army, using our connection to infiltrate their minds. I summoned Titus before the Serpent completed his control <laughs> on me. It was my last free act. And it allowed Titus to remain true to his own heart. Did you know Titus would lose his memories? Such complex and powerful magic always contains an element of risk. But it was never my intention to harm Titus. Now I want to make things right. Help restore Titus's memories and his connection to me. And I can send him back where he belongs. Good to know. Celestial Warrior, that sounds... That sounds insane. The trail. <laughs> Uh, oh, I hate that feeling. 
Like, I'm not really... I know I said earlier I'm scared of heights. I'm not really scared of heights. I'm... In reality, I'm kind of more scared of falling. I don't like that feeling. That feeling sucks. Even though I... Like, I like getting on roller coasters and stuff. But that's besides the point, alright? Let me get this, uh, way shrine real quick since it's literally right here. Hey, look, it was another bastion. Excuse me, coming through. Busy, busy here, busy. Don't want to take part of this. The spell scar. Uh-oh. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. I kind of want to help them. But they're beyond my help. How do I get up there? Okay, so I gotta... Go up here, maybe? Yeah. It's the same thing as before. We're going to the same location we did before. Let me get some of my stuff back real quick. And let's go. We're gonna ride fast the entire way there. <laughs> yeah, we're already there, so that's good. Where's Titus? Find Titus Valerius below. Oh, there he is. Hi, my friend. Now is not the time, my friend. I mean you no ill will, but if you don't leave me to my thoughts, I will draw steel against you. I came here to remember her. I have to remember her. I've lost everything else. I can't lose her as well. My heart hurts so much. That's sad. What's happening to you, my friend? What's happening to me? I'm fading away. I remember everything since I arrived in this time perfectly. But memories from my time? Memories of who I really am? They slip through my fingers like sand in an hourglass. Why did you come to the, uh, this desolate place? I came here to try to hold on to the memory of my wife. But... The realization of her death. It's almost too much to bear. If you return to your time, your memories will come back? More questions concerning magic? Do I look like a mage to you? I once was proud that the warrior had chosen me. But now, that honor hangs over my head like a curse. I can't even hear the warrior's call anymore. Please, friend, just leave me be. Oh, that's so sad. There he is again. The darkness that shrouds Titus's mind blocks my connection to him. But since you touched my Apex Stone, I can still communicate with you. You consider Titus to be a friend. Are you ready to help him? Of course, tell me what to do. Once there was a blade of legend called Warsworn. Wielded by my greatest champions. It has been without a true consort for far too long. We must change that. Currently, an iron orc carries the blade like a trophy, even though he cannot wield it. And the sword can help Titus recover his memories? Warsworn can do <clears throat> many things in the hands of one worthy to wield it. Recover the blade and give it to Titus. It will remind Titus of who he is and restore his connection to me. Then I can send Titus home. Oh, that's perfect. Where can I find this Iron Orc? The blade resides in the ruins to the southwest. While the Iron Orc, Scarath of the Mini, is not worthy of Warsworn, he is a powerful combatant. He collects trophies from his victims and will not give up the blade willingly. Alright, I'll find Scarath and retrieve the blade. The blade will restore Titus to his true self. Good. The time grows short. Already, I sense that Titus contemplates a warrior's death as a release from his torment. We cannot allow that. Titus still has many battles to win before his life comes to an end. I agree. I agree. So where's this place that I'm going to? Literally right down the road. Let's go help Titus. 
He has to go home, man. He's losing not just his memories, but himself. The very essence of his being is slipping away from him through his through his mental state. Is that him? Sorry. You have to die. Oh, that was easy. Hey, is this an actual item I can inspect? Probably under quest items. Uh, an enchanted blade that rejects any wielders. Uh, save the chosen champion for the celestial warrior. Okay, so war sworn. Whoops. Now I just go back to Titus, right? And just just give it to him. That's all I gotta do. Like, hey, I know you don't want to talk about anything or magic, but here's this magical sword. <clears throat> all right. Titus, my friend. I gotta talk to you. It's good to see you again before the end, my friend. Aww. Uh, I was just saying one last farewell to my wife before I depart to find my final battle. If you plan to go battle, take this blade. The warrior wants you to wield it. Well, that's a good way to frame it. This is a magnificent blade. I can feel its energy. It calls to me. Just as the warrior once did. It feels right. As though I was meant to have it. You were. Well then, in friendship, I hope you'll accept my old blade. Something to remember me by. Take up my blade, Titus Valerius. You have earned it. Let its might flow through you and remind you who and what you are. A warrior true. I feel stronger. My memories return. Celestial warrior, hear me. I have done all you have demanded. I have served faithfully. Now please, send me home. You are my champion, Titus, in whom I am well pleased. Hold tightly to the blade. It will travel with you and serve you well in your own time. My comrades, my friends, never have I fought beside more noble heroes. This may be farewell, but I will not forget you. Fight on, and never let your values falter. With you, I know the future is in capable hands. Larissa, love it. My part in this war is over. I'm coming home. Not fear. The story of Titus Valerius recounts one of the greatest warriors to ever walk the surface of Tamria. His achievements echo even into the future. Perhaps the same will be true of you. Yay! That's it then. That's it. We we did it, right? Raven, a riven hourglass, sword of martial knowledge. Uh, the blade feels strange in your hand, calling to mind memories of past events from the life of the departed warrior. Oh my god, dude. That was honestly really cool. Alright guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video and this series. I gotta say, this ending was spectacular. It really made me happy in the end. And sad at the same time. Like, it was sad that he was forgetting his memories. And happy at the same time because he managed to grasp on long enough to what he held dear. Specifically his wife. Uh, just long enough to get him to be sent home and get his memories back. Titus was a good dude, man. He's a very brave and uh, strong warrior, and I really, really enjoyed him throughout this story. So far, I gotta say, this is probably one of the better stories that we've played of ESO, in my personal opinion. Um, but who knows? Now we're gonna be going into some of the uh, other big stories that were introduced in terms of DLCs and added chapters. So it should be pretty interesting, to say the least. I'm very excited to get into that. However, this is probably the last time you guys are going to be seeing this character in general. Because I do have a replacement for him, as I said in the uh, uh, beginning of this video. 
It's an Imperial Dragon Knight, and I'm very excited for you guys to see him. So, there's that. If you guys enjoyed this, though, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, guys, that does it for this series. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.